So I got this great question from a viewer about the ability for the autonomic nervous system to affect how our digestion works and vice versa. So I want to jump into that and just talk it through a little bit in this video so we can better understand how some of these things behind the curtains can really affect other aspects of how the body works. Here we go. C. Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So it was over on our video for understanding a sympathetic imbalance that user mgams 42 d 90 something or other said, so digestion can resolve a sympathetic imbalance, but a sympathetic imbalance can make digestion bad. So this can really kind of happen in a roundabout way from different angles even. So what goes on is we have this autonomic nervous system that runs a lot of the show behind the curtains. You know, like we don't have to think about breathing, we just kind of breathe, that just kind of happens. And this autonomic nervous system has two sides. It has a parasympathetic rest and digest side and a sympathetic fight or flight side. And so the body will move back and forth between these states as needed, and depending on the situation that it's presented, it may move more into the parasympathetic state and sometimes more into this sympathetic fight or flight state. And both of these states can kind of change how the body operates depending on how significantly the body has moved into that state at one time or another. So what's important to understand is that for us to be able to digest correctly and really be able to break our food down and get all the nutrients out of that food, the body needs to be able to move into that parasympathetic rest and digest state. And the more that a person might be dealing with digestive malfunctions, maybe they're not making enough stomach acid, maybe bile is not flowing well, maybe other things are going on like some type of overgrowth that's interrupting that digestive process in the digestive tract, any of those things going on, the body might need to move a little bit more into that parasympathetic state just to boost the ability to digest any way that it can. So the problem is, is that somebody can get really stuck in one of these states for a variety of reasons. They can really get stuck in this fight or flight state if there's a lot of stress in their life, but also if there's a lot of stress in their body. So we can see where if somebody's dealing with a sympathetic imbalance where they're really crammed into that fight or flight state most of the time, it can be hard to move into that parasympathetic state so the body can produce hydrochloric acid and help us acidify our food and digest it correctly. So in that regard, being stuck in this sympathetic state or having what we call a sympathetic imbalance can create problems for that digestive process. But when we look at it from another angle, you know, a person can be really stuck in a sympathetic state for a lot of different reasons. Maybe their boss is just a jerk and that's why they're stuck in that state. But they could also be stuck in that state if maybe they were dealing with some type of chronic infection that they might not even know about. Maybe there's an overgrowth in that digestive tract that came in because there wasn't enough stomach acid to keep the bad guys from coming in and setting up camp. But also, if someone can't break down their food correctly, they can't get all the minerals and nutrients out of that food that the body needs in order for the body to run all the functions that it needs to function. Your body doesn't just need nutrients so you can walk to the car and drive to work. There's a lot of things that the body has to do even while you're sleeping. And it needs a lot of minerals and nutrients and fuel in order to be able to do those things. So when there's digestive malfunctions and the body can't access nutrients like it needs to, that can be a stress to the body. That's like you trying to pay $800 worth of bills with 12 bucks. That's a stressful situation. So when the body doesn't have what it needs, it can push it further into this fight or flight state so that it will kind of change how the body's operating. It'll change how the body can create its own glucose so that it has more of a fuel source. And it can use some of these backup methods to allow the body to function even when it's not getting all the resources that it's getting. So in that regard, fixing those digestive malfunctions has the ability to improve a sympathetic imbalance for that person. So it can really go either way where improving digestion has the ability to improve, to improve a sympathetic imbalance if the sympathetic imbalance is being caused by a lack of nutrients. But in a lot of cases, if someone's really stuck in a sympathetic imbalance for any reason, when you can improve that, it allows the body to be able to move into that parasympathetic state so that it can optimize its ability to digest our food and get more nutrients out of that food. 
So you can see where someone can get stuck in a catch-22 situation where they're just stuck in this broken cycle of the body being very stressed and an inability to break down your food and get nutrients. So now the body's stressed about that. So we really want everything to work correctly in order for the body to be able to operate optimally. And MGAMS, I hope that helps you understand that a little bit. And if you're someone watching this that doesn't understand the autonomic system, you can jump over now and check out that video we were talking about on understanding a sympathetic imbalance. I hope that helps.